Good evening. This is Agashvani Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says his government has made recruitment process transparent. Advisor for Urban Development and Municipal Affairs Jalio urges government authorities to ensure authenticity of society registrations and upgradations. United Sangdam Students Conference seals off Medical Superintendent and Chief Medical Officer Kifre offices against non-fulfillment of its demand for reliever against transferred staff at District Hospital. And Nagaland go host wrestling as part of Kello India University Games. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that his government has made recruitment process transparent. He said government is trying to complete the recruitment procedure within a set time frame so that everyone gets an equal opportunity to showcase their capabilities. The Prime Minister was speaking after distributing more than one like appointment letters to newly inducted recruits under Roska Mela through video conferencing today. Modi said every youth today knows that he can make a place for himself if he works hard. He said since 2014, government has been trying to connect the youth to make them the participants in the development process. The Prime Minister said in the journey of Vixit Parat, every government official has an important role to play. He said one like new recruits have joined today, who have joined today will provide new energy. Modi added that it does not matter which department they will join, but their efforts will be dedicated to nation building. Advisor for Urban Development and Municipal Affairs Jalio Rio has urged authorities to ensure the authenticity of society registrations and upgradations. Addressing Jumugidima District Planning and Development Board today, Rio highlighted the mushrooming landscape of associations and stressed on the need for proper verification and personal verification before granting its approval. While extending a warm welcome to the new members, Rio emphasised on the importance of collective efforts towards departmental targets and individual contributions for community welfare. He also advocated for a yearly action plan from all departments for village activities and schemes. Rio further added that the attendance of the members are crucial at the monthly DPDP meeting for collective action planning for community welfare. United Sangdam Students Conference, USSC, today sealed off the Office of the Chief Medical Officer and Medical Superintendent Office, Kifre, against known fulfilment of its demand for reliever against transferred staff at District Hospital, Kifre. In a letter addressed to the Principal Director, Health and Family Welfare, President USSC, Setrongba, and Executive Chairman USSC Aketo Sangdam said that multiple representations for reliever against transferred doctors and staff nurses of District Hospital Kifre has been placed, but the department has failed to address the problem. USSC said it has been compelled to take the drastic step in the interest of the denizens of Kifre. USSC added that the lockdown of the offices are part of its first phase agitation and that it will go on till the department responds positively to its demand. Advisor Industries and Commerce Hekani Jakalu emphasized on the significance of capacity building and interpersonal skills for public servants. Speaking at the Comprehensive Orientation and Capacity Building Program for the officers of the Department of Industries and Commerce at Newland recently, Jakalu advocated for the integration of continuous learning initiatives across Nagaland's governmental departments. The advisor urged the officers to embody values of sincerity, dedication and continuous learning in their service. The program was held with the aim to augment the capacity and skill set of industries and commerce officers and foster their professional growth and efficacy in serving the public. This news comes to you from Akashvani Gohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIA News Gohima. India's Unified Payment Interface Services has been rolled out in Sri Lanka and Mauritius today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, President of Sri Lanka, Ranil Vikramesinghe and the Prime Minister of Mauritius, Bravinda Jokanad, witnessed the launch of the UPI service. 
The Rupay Card Services was also launched in Mauritius. Speaking on the occasion, Modi said, Today is a special day for three friendly countries in the Indian Ocean region. He said the historical relations are being connected in a modern digital way. Modi said India's unified payments interface is now performing a new responsibility uniting partners with India. Sri Lankan Prime Minister Ranil Wickrema Singhe said, For thousands of years, payments have taken place between India and Sri Lanka. He said the initiative today is only upgrading it technologically. In his address, Mauritius Prime Minister Bravind Joghanad said, India and Mauritius share strong cultural, commercial and people-to-people linkages, which dates back centuries ago. Joghanad said, today yet another dimension has been added to this relationship. The mop-up exercise for removal of unauthorised structures within compensated land along National Highway 61 under Woka commenced today. The demolition exercise was carried out under the supervision of district administration, police personnel, civil society organisations, including Lotahoho officials, representatives of the Joint Action Committee and officials from relevant departments. The exercise will continue tomorrow as well. President Robert Mumma will share her life journey in an exclusive interaction with the Union Minister of Women and Child Development, Smriti Rani, in the concluding episode of Naya Soch, Naya Kahani, a radio journey with Smriti Rani, anchored by the Union Minister for Akashvani. The hour-long interaction recorded at the Rastra Padipawan will be broadcast on the occasion of World Radio Day tomorrow at 9am on Akashwani Gold and at 7pm on Akashwani Rainbow. This exclusive program will be broadcast across the entire Akashwani network and will also be available on all social media platforms including News on Air app. District Health Society Mon organised a free cataract surgery and intraocular lens implantation eye camp at District Hospital Mon. Medical Superintendent District Hospital Mon, Dr. Kualoza Tong, said that around 80 patients from below poverty line category have registered for the operations which will begin tomorrow. The medical superintendent said that the patient will be provided with free registration, medicine, surgery and accommodation. The camp is being sponsored by the National Programme for Control of Blindness and Visual Impairment, Nagalin, and will go on till the 17th of February. And in sports, Nagalin will be co-hosting wrestling as part of the Kelo India University Games scheduled to be held from 22nd to 26th February at IG Stadium, Gohima. Assam is the main host of the fourth edition of the Kelo India University Games. However, other northeastern states will also go host various disciplines wherein Nagaland has been assigned with wrestling. About 240 athletes from universities across the country will participate and about 74 officials from Sports Authority of India, All India University and National Sports Federation will officiate and provide technical support. The Kelo India University Games is a national-level multidisciplinary sports event aimed at promoting sports and fitness among university students in India. And now to end the news, here are the headlines again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says his government has made the recruitment process transparent. Advisor for Urban Development and Municipal Affairs, Jalia Rio, urges government authorities to ensure authenticity of society registrations and upgradations. United Sangdom Students Conference, seals of Medical Superintendent and Chief Medical Officer, Gifre offices against non-fulfillment of its demand for reliever against transport staff at District Hospital. And Nagaland to go host wrestling as part of Kelo India University Games. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.